Hello everyone and welcome to my data mining tutorial. In these videos I'll be, I will be explaining to you several data mining algorithms and the way I'll explain them is by introducing to you the intuition behind them i.e. how they work. I, won't, I will not be exp uh, showing you for example uh, demonstrations using Weka or using Rapid Miner or using any of these tools. I will probably cover these in some other tutorials but here I will only explain the idea or the intuition behind these algorithms and how they work. That's my name Nuruddin Sadawi and most of the material I'm going to be using here belongs to Professor Said Sayed and it's actually available uh, at this website. What I've done is I've visited that website and transformed things there into the slides you see in front of you. Now, the data mining is about explaining the past and predicting the future by means of data analysis. So notice we have data. Without data we cannot do much. So the most important thing that we need to have now is data, specifically past data, yes? So data from existing events or from existing records. And the idea is to predict something in the future by means of modeling. Now data mining is a multidisciplinary field i.e. it combines several fields it combines statistics, machine learning, artificial intelligence and database technology. The value of data mining applications is often estimated to be very high so data mining plays a major role in everything we do, almost everything we do in our day-to-day -day life. If you do bank transactions, if you do shopping at maybe supermarkets, uh, when we w when you watch the uh, weather forecast and things like that, data mining is at the heart of all of these things. Many businesses have st have stored large amounts of data over years of operation and data mining, it helps them or helps us extract very valuable knowledge from this data and based on that very valuable knowledge decisions can be made or at least informed decisions can be made in order to improve performance, to improve sales, to attract more customers, to maybe improve accuracy of medical diagnosis and things like that. The businesses are then able to leverage the extracted knowledge into more clients, more sales, greater profits, even uh, sort of in engineering or medical fields. As I mentioned, we can improve medical diagnosis, for example, by using techniques from data mining, uh, techniques and algorithms from data mining. Now as I mentioned, data mining is the overlap of these fields, statistics, database and data warehousing, AI and machine learning, and here we have a brief definition of each of them. Statistics is the science of collecting and classif classifying, summarizing, organizing, analyzing and interpreting data. AI is the study of computer algorithms dealing with the simulation of intelligent, intelligent behaviors in order to perform those activities that are normally thought to require intelligence. So activities that normally are thought to you know, require intelligence, we can do them using computer algorithms. Machine learning is the study of computer algorithms to learn in order to improve automatically through experience. So algorithms that improve through experience. Experience here means seeing more data, being exposed to more and more data. As we mentioned, data mining, so data is very important. Without data, we cannot do much. Database is the science of, I'm sorry, the science and technology of collecting, storing, and managing data so users can retrieve, add, update, or remove such data. Hopefully you're familiar with what a database is. And data, wa data warehousing, is the science and technology of collecting, storing, and managing data with advanced multidimensional reporting services in support of the decision-making process. So the idea of data mining is to build models from existing data so we can predict uh, uh, future events or future, future outcomes and based on those predictions we can improve our decision-making, we can make better decisions. Now it's all about predictive modeling. Predict predictive modeling is the process by which a model is created to predict an outcome. So the model is created from data by analyzing data and then we have some uh, new information 
without knowing what to do or, or what or, or what that information belongs to or something like that then we can use the model that we built from the past data to make the decision and decide what to do with the or how to classify or how to categorize or how, what to output or what is the outcome from that data as we will see in the coming videos so if the outcome is categorical then the process is called classification if the outcome is numerical i.e. continuous then the process is called regression I hope you're familiar with variables and variable types I hope you are familiar with categorical variables and numerical variables and how to transform between them if not then please go and watch my data exploration and analysis tutorial descriptive modeling or clustering is the assignment of observations into clusters so that observations in the same cluster are similar so we have many observations or many data points or many instances and we want to cluster them in such a way that each cluster only contains instances or observations or uh, data points which are similar in a way so here we rely on so some sort of similarity measure finally association rules can find interesting associations amongst uh, observations for example for a supermarket if customers buy for example banana then we try to find what else do they, do they buy along with the banana and the uh, owners of that supermarket can exploit that and maybe put that thing for example apples or pears next to the banana so they can improve their sales um, now the contents of my videos I will be explaining classification algorithms and regression algorithms hopefully I'll be able to do clustering and association rules as you can see here I hope you can see this by the way as you can see here um, classification algorithms they are divided according to their the, the main concept behind them so some of them are based on frequency tables some of them are based on covariance matrix some of them are based on similarity functions and some others uh, and things like that for likewise for regression and for clustering uh, just again divided or now clustered according to the to the basis I the basic idea behind them or the basic concept behind them now I'm going to be assuming that you're familiar with some sort of data with data sets what are features or descriptors or um, um, characteristics or predictors I'm going to be assuming that you are familiar with data sets what do they look like and the columns and things like with uh, very uh, with the uh, variable types as we mentioned before uh, categorical or numerical and how to transform between them if not then please go and watch my data analysis and exploration tutorial in fact it's called data exploration and analysis tutorial and that will make things much easier for you on top of that I'd like you to be familiar with how to evaluate models how to for example build a confusion matrix how to do these things if not please watch my model evaluation tutorial which in which I explain all of these concepts in fact I wasn't sure what to record first either model evaluation or explaining models or algorithms first but hopefully if you watch that first it will make things will make much more sense when you watch these videos one last point just to repeat that most of material most of the material in this course belongs to professor Syed Syed from the University of Toronto Canada uh, the raw material can be found at these websites I think here you will just find text and here you will find very nice slides and I actually emailed him and I have his permission to use his work this is just to make sure that we're all uh, happy with the intellectual property concepts now I'm going to stop here thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time